okay, must film this bit. Now I've seen the Blackbird before, I've seen most of the planes before. I've never seen the Space Shuttle before. Discovery. No, I shouldn't be surprised, it's a lot bigger than I expected. I wish I'd seen it launched. There's a hell of a lot of nozzles at the front for manoeuvring, isn't there? I think this is an appropriate time to say, holy shit, look at that. Alright, a couple of uh, observations immediately. Even close. Um, obviously it's a, almost a, literally a jigsaw of pieces, all numbered. I wonder are any two alike, I don't know. Every piece is numbered. It's a close-up of the manoeuvring, I don't know what you call them. It's on the right side. Interesting, the nose is one piece. I know they used to change a lot of the tiles. You can see a newer one there. Um, the nose is one piece. Well, the front of it is anyway. Other than the interesting thing is the the wheel. You can see the um, thickness here. So what's that? About two and a half, about three inches of uh, material. I'm um, just looking at the tiles again. It's kind of interesting to look at the, the um, ageing. And it makes me wonder, off the black ones, which I assume are the newly replaced ones, there's an awful lot been replaced since the last flight. Well, you can see the join between the um, protective tiles and the main part of the structure. It almost looks like a carpet effect up there. Let me zoom in a bit. That's reassuring, isn't it? Cut here for a rescue. But it's very. Uh, see how close it is. There you go. It's almost sewed into place. Again, I don't know enough to say, tell you what that material is. Right, the edge of the wings, again, like the nose, have got a larger uh, single heat shield in little patchworks all the way along to the tip. And the rear wheel door, weirdly very straight, very square. I don't know why that looks weird to me, but it does. Okay, at the, uh, the rear, two very large. Uh, I don't know what you call them, fins. But interestingly, that looks like one, this is right at the rear. This looks like it moves as well. Not sure. And then above it, the three engines of the, the orbiter itself. Christ, they're enormous. Uh, again, there's lots of very, s m many small directional jets. And uh, there's, t what is it, two? Two small, small ones as well at the top. And tail fin. Yeah, not as many replaced tiles at the backs, not surprisingly. They look a different colour here, interestingly. They look like they, uh, maybe, maybe they survive longer. See distinctly the difference in colour between the old and the new there, can't you? And the view down the middle to the front. Look at that. Just to get an idea of scale again. Some visitors. And that's the rear. And as far as I can tell, they haven't got any of the other 
parts of the the rocket, um, the booster rockets, or anything like that in here. I, I haven't been around the whole place yet. But. It's the European Space Agency module, Space Lab, which was taken up in the shuttle. Um, my guess is it was taken up, left up there, and um, experiments were done, and it was taken down again when finished, replaced with another one. see how big it is when you look at the visitors here. just want to focus again on a bit of the design here. So these are the rear rockets. If you notice that they're kind of sitting in a hollow, they're like um, shuttlecock shapes and the, the ball at the top of the shuttlecock is inside a protected area. I'm assuming that allows the movement. Again, it's a mixture of the, what I call the carpet material and the tiles. It's funny, there's lots of tiles at the back. I'm, I'm, talking, about, I'm talking about the grey tiles. Rather than, oh, there's white tiles up there. That's interesting. There's an awful lot of holes in this thing. Holes of different sorts. Scaling the two guys there directly underneath the rear. I can't stop filming this thing, it's just incredible. Kind of a shame that the kids of today just won't see this. I saw the launch of uh, it Columbia from school when I was 11, 10. Trying to watch anything on television in those days was difficult when you're at school. I can tell it. So this was a highlight, and I do remember it. I remember it. Surprising how tall it is at the front, considering it sits down. Uh, Trying not to gain people's photos, but sounds like the wind is. <coughs> excuse me, the wind is smaller or bigger than I expected. Don't know. <laughs> This is uh, surpassed my expectations. Looking it up, looking at it close up. Uh, the Blackbird is my favourite plane. Uh, this is way, way better. So you're saying right here is all for all for this, right? Yeah, I feel like 